and check in with me in a second. Okay. So, I notice I say so a lot. Hmm. All right. Okay, so we're taking out Y and replacing it with 265. So 265. Plugging that in, let's go ahead and solve for X. Solving for X, we're going to try to isolate X. So the value is keeping X from being by itself. We have this adding 203.2. And then we have X being multiplied by the 8.18. Let's get rid of the subtraction first. So a minus 203 from both sides. And let's see what that is on a calculator. Okay, so we have 265 minus 203. Ooh, wait, 203.2. What is that? 61.8 equals 8.18x. All right, we have almost solved for x. We're getting so close. Now we just need to divide by... 8.18 from both sides. All right, let's bring back the lovely calculator. We should give this one a name. Divided by 8.18. The answer is around 7.55. Let's just call it 7.56, yeah? As usual, I said if I don't tell you what to round to, round to the hundreds, place. So the answer is about 7.5. What did I say? Rounding six, 7.56. Okay, so they want to know the number, they want to know the time, and this was talking about years, when the population will reach 265 million. So this in years, what would that be closer to? In about, maybe we'd say that's closer to eight years? Or you could say seven and a half years. Let's say seven and a half years. In about seven, I would just go 7.56 years. The population will reach, what was that again? Reach 265 million, 265 million. Remember, in word problems, you need to Write a sentence, complete sentence, starting with a capital and ending with a period. Okay, and that is it for this video in this class activity for section 3.9.